Hey, everybody. Got another great question. This is from Huang Tran Tu. I hope my pronunciation was okay. Cam Ung. I'm guessing you're from Vietnam. Hi, Shane. Would you mind helping me with Van and Ven? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's a great question. And to be honest, don't worry about it when you're speaking, okay? Um, I like you more than him. Um, I went there, then I went home, okay? So these words in a situation are obvious, okay? More than I went there, A, then I did B. So it's a time sequence. This is a comparison. So in context, hopefully, you're never confused. You know when it's then, and you know when it's then. Now, regarding pronunciation, there is a difference, actually. And this is what we call a short A. And the pronunciation is then. And the short A can be stretched, then. Um, learning vowel sounds is not easy. And to really learn vowel, American English vowel sounds, you probably need a coach to help you. So join our lessons, okay? Do it, seriously. Anyway, then, sad, happy, dad. These are common short A words that many people are pretty good at, especially sad, happy, then. Then is a short E. Now, then is a little bit easier to say. The sound is going to go down, and it's brief. We don't say then. We can say then, but we don't say then. We don't. We don't, we don't stretch a short E. We keep it short. Boom. Then. 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 Okay? So it's much shorter. The then sound is going to kind of shoot a little bit down. Then is going to go out, and it's stretched. However, in daily English pronunciation, if you listen to the Americano, the American, the gringo, yeah, they're going to sound the same. They sound the same. I like you more than him. I went there, then I went home. Yeah, they sound the same. So this is uh, confusing when you're listening because what? Did he say then? Did he say then? Well, now you need to catch the context. Was it a comparison? Well, then it's then. Was it a A time sequence, A, then B? Well, then it's then. Don't worry about the pronunciation. In daily English, they're both going to sound the same, and it's going to be easier. It's going to sound like that. So we're not going to say then. We're going to say, I like you more than him. Mm -hmm. It's going to sound just like then. This will, I went there, then, I guess it's possible to stretch the E, but very rare. So don't, don't do that. This word and this word, when they are short, they will sound the same. When we emphasize this is going to be stretched, but this will remain short. Okay? I hope that helps. I like you more than him. I like you more than him. I went there, then I went home. I went there, then I went home. Yeah. So in daily English, they're going to sound the same, but they shouldn't. But don't tell an American his pronunciation is wrong. <laughs> All right. I hope that helps. Again, I really recommend you join our classes uh, and uh, get coaching, personal coaching, one-on-one -on -one, to you directly. That's what we do at Let's Master English.com. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye.